Episode 347. What is it? JP Wisco contest winning. That's correct. Packer cards. All right, I'm back. I'm MP Fox. I'm MP Fox. And we happen to be... Fox Character! That's right. MC took off because this video is going to be showing some Packer cards. And he's not a big Packer fan. Well, neither am I. Yep, he's back. Um, I was born, bred, and raised a Packer hater extremely. But J.P. Wisco had a contest. And to support other content makers, please support everybody in the community by liking, subscribing, etc., etc. I made a video and, call it irony, we won. He asked the question, who was the best quarterback, greatest quarterback in Packers history between um, Bart Starr, I even lost it, Brett Favre, he's telling me direction over there, and um, Aaron Rodgers. And I, I chose Brett Favre because he's actually the one that I watched back before I absolutely hated, actually, the NFL now at this point. So anyway, if uh, the person won, they had to purchase Packer cards. And then he did amend that towards the end there because he said, well, the person that won it hates Packer cards, hates Packers, and doesn't even collect football. But to hold true, he did say, go ahead and buy some Wanders. And with the winning dollar amount, I actually was able to purchase, get this, it was a $25 um, PayPal I purchased 11 cards. So there are bargains out there. It all depends what you want to buy. You're going to see that some of this stuff is dime, dime barrel, but I paid more than that. Um, actually, so he did say, go ahead, buy some Wander cards. I did get three Wander cards. This one is a welcome to the show, Wander Franco, one that we didn't have. Yep, Wander was only 17 years old when he took the MVP honors of the Appalachian League. And on... Uh, he made it to the show, and this is his welcome to the show, Wander Franco. Another one is the Topps uh, MLB stars of the MLB. I just think that's a sweet looking card. Very nice. That was one of them that I purchased with the winnings, and I also got this Generation Now because it's now. Yep, he signed an 11 year contract. He's going to be around for at least eight years, hopefully longer than that. But, um, He's been great, except for he's been hurt himself. He's, he's got some quad issues. Uh, he's on the IL right now. Hopefully he'll be back with a little rest. So those are three Wander cards I bought. But I did buy some Packer cards because, believe it or not, and I hope none of my relatives in Minnesota are seeing this, I have liked a couple Packers in my time. Um, basically, most of them were a long time ago. I grew up being an absolute, total, 100%. Chuck Foreman, super fan when I was in the 70s. Um, but I liked running backs. And this guy I also liked a lot. So I picked up four of his cards, and he was a Packer. Uh, it is John Brockington. And this is, again, I'm not a football collector by any means. I think this is the 1972. I don't even know. But it's John Brockington. He was a running back. Yeah, Brockington and Foreman, they uh, tore up the North along with um, some of the Bears guys. Nobody for the Lions. There's another John Brockington. And here's another John Brockington. And I did get one more John Brockington. So I got some Packer cards, as per J.P. Wisco. And when I was growing up as a little kid in the 70s, this is a 73 uh, I was uh, younger than MC is right now, but I loved this card so much. And I remember having just tons of cards like this. Well, not this exact one, but these years. I was a huge Viking fan, but I loved this John Brockington card. J.P. Wisco's channel asked the question, who's the greatest Packer quarterback of all time? Well, this guy is not the greatest, but he is my favorite Packer quarterback of all time. I actually liked him back in the day. He was never really a starter. He was always a backup. It's Mr. David Whitehurst. And I have now become a Whitehurst super collector. Thank you to this contest. However, it's not a super collector 250 cards because I believe this guy only had four cards. 
And I have three of them. So I've got three quarters of the David Whitehurst cards. So I might open the David Whitehurst Museum. You never know. Like I said, I did order 11 cards. One was another one was a John Brockington that never showed up. I'm still uh, in communicado with that, but I wanted to get this uh, video up so I could show you the winnings. So again, support the other content creators with this uh, community. We're a small niche, so everybody needs as many likes and as many subs and as many you know participations as possible. I know you can't watch every video that everybody ever makes, but you know, be part of the community. It's a bunch of great people having a good old time reconnecting with cards, reconnecting and getting their kids into it. There's a lot of uh, parents with their kids that I'm loving to see, probably because we happen to be one. Yeah, pass your card. There we go. So this was a lot of fun, JP. And um, that's not really his name. <clears throat> but uh, I got some Packer cards, again, in the Fox household. And just so you know, that stack of Packers cards that I showed, we did give to uh, Mateo's friend. So until next time, I'm MP Fox. And don't forget, Sunday night, we've got the John Mangini Just Taste This Edition. And subscribe. So, until next time, peace!